Matt, in uh, football, a lot of times coaches say interesting things to kickers before they walk out to yeah. attempt a game-winning field goal. And AJ said that the two of you had a little pizza discussion uh, yeah. before he went out there. Were you just trying to think of something that maybe would, would yeah. relax him a little bit? And could you talk about that? Where'd you come up with that? Well, it was so much time. I, I didn't come up with it. I just, um, he just said he was really nervous. And AJ always you know, tells you what he's thinking. Sometimes that's good, sometimes that's bad. But he, um, he just said, man, I am really nervous. And I just started to talk to him about, because I always talk about, you know, doing your routine and talking about your routine, and it's yours. And you should be talking to yourself about what you're doing, you're getting your foot to the nail, keeping your elbow in, you're, you know, looking at the front. You know, you have to be able to have that mental um, routine that you do every single time you shoot a free throw. I try to get them to do that in practice, and I saw, I started to talk about it, but it was so much time, and I could see him. And he made his free throws early in the game, and then he, then he had missed some. So we, uh, we we talked about it, and then we brought everybody together and just, you know, just got everybody's order and just made sure. Because we're always talking about the pizza tastes better when you win. And, um, and that's always our slogan when you get late in the game, you know, just about you know, getting on the bus and how an enjoyable bus ride it is when you go home and you win in and things of that nature. So just trying to get him to, you know, just settle down and do his routine and, you know, be able to knock it down. What I didn't do was talk to him about missing the second one because they didn't have timeouts. Because I didn't want him to think about missing the second one while he was shooting the first one. And just to keep him in the focus there. So I had to talk him through um, you know, missing that at that time, which I've never done with him before. So a lot of times guys would just skyrocket it off the glass and then not hit the rim, then obviously it's a dead ball at that time. And you, you worry sometimes about the ball when you miss going east and west and they let it trickle out of bounds. Because the last thing you want to do as a coach is have some people on the line and then somebody goes over the back and you kind of think about that Butler pit game in the NCAA tournament. So you take your guys off, but if the ball will miss east and west and um, it's smart to let the ball keep going so it can go out of bounds, and then you can set up so you can run a, you know, you can run a play there and you can throw the basketball while the time, time is uh, standing still. But um, we were fortunate that they picked it up and you know, shot a three-quarter court. But we're fortunate, period. Um, Coach Chambers has done an unbelievable job. And, you know, they had a couple games there at home that you know, could have went either way. And, you know, they, they did a great job and, and made plays down the stretch, made their free throws, did little things. And, uh, you know, we were fortunate that we were able to, to knock that three down and then, Sterling got that steal, and then Jay made a great pass to AJ. And so we had a lot of things going away at the end, and um, I've been on that other end um, you know, of those games, and it's, it's no fun. It's absolutely no fun, but I'm um, blessed to be you know, on, on this end this time. I'm very fortunate, and um, you know, hopefully we can learn from some of, some of our mistakes, especially the start of the second half. I thought we really did a poor job once again um, the start of the second half of executing and making the necessary plays. Matt, the, the guy said that you installed that play during the, the lob from a bounce during walkthrough today. So what was kind of the story uh, behind We that? run the play. We just don't run it from the side out. We ran it um, just messing around about a month ago in practice, but I never had stayed with it and ran it again. But you just get the last second situations, and you, know, you have to have something where you can get to the rim. A lot of times you get in those situations and they put somebody so big in front of you, you can't make a direct pass. You can just make something over the top. So it's only fitting that you try to throw it to the rim. Um, you know, I knew Donovan Jack was out of the game, and I knew they would probably put their biggest guy there. So it didn't put someone of the same size at the rim with him. So I just thought, you know, it's not a high percentage play, even though it worked for us, and we got a foul. Uh, but I still thought it was the highest percentage play we could run at that time. Was that the reason why Jay was also doing it? Is he usually the one that throws in? Jay's, Jay's a great passer in situation. He's, he's a good passer, and he can see. He's great in a full court situation because he has that size. Um, I don't know about his decision making, but he can throw a football. I mean, it's I mean, it's pretty impressive. He's got a heck of an arm. You guys, Tyrone, uh, you know this is your fourth year here at Purdue. You've been through an awful lot of crazy games, crazy game winning situations. But quite honestly, the way you guys won the game today, might this. <coughs> We won't know for a long time yet, but might this have saved your season? Because had you lost this game to this team, it would have been very, very damaging. Could you just talk about how important this was, and maybe was this the win you absolutely had to have? Um, I think so. You know, we came in saying that we absolutely had to have this win. Um, I thought we made a lot of mistakes, you know, uh, in the middle of the game that we need to clean up. It was a, a huge win for us, like you said, because um, it would have been a bad lose, a loss on our, on our 
resume. We, we, we can't really um, sit back and, and, and try to get it. I mean, you know, we have to try to win every single game right. uh, for a tournament bid. So uh, I think it's something that was important, but I'm uh, glad we got the win. AJ, you made your first eight free throws tonight, and then you missed three or four there at a pretty crucial moment. What's going through your head when you go up there at 1.1 seconds left? Uh, I was actually shocked because this was my first time actually being in a predicament like that, but Coach just trying to get my mind off of him. He really asked me like, what I was getting. Uh, well, I got my pizza pretty much just to get my mind off of it, but, you know, I'm just glad my teammates stopped by me and just got me through it. This can be for anyone. You guys struggled with the sloppy play, turnovers, bad shots the whole game, and then you went three for three at the end there, the steal, the three, and then the, the alley you put then. What changed, you know, execution-wise, you know, when you needed those plays at the end? Um, I thought we just, we just had a lot more composure. You know, we, we turned the ball over. Um, a couple times there in a row, we kept them in the game. Um, a couple calls didn't go our way there, and they got the lead. And, um, and that's something that we can't do, um, especially going on forward. Um, I think we have to, you know, execute as we did down the stretch uh, throughout the whole game and have that same composure. This is the other half of that question: Is what was going on before that? I mean, 16 turnovers tonight uh, against a team that's maybe not especially known for its defensive strength. Um, we, we just was turning it over. It was, it was mostly our, our mistakes, um, not them really pressuring us and making us turn the ball over. Uh, we, we turned the ball over a couple times on the fast break. Um, on some post doubles, we turned the ball over. Just trying to make um, things happen that weren't there and instead of just keeping our composure and running our offense. So um, I think that was the problem. Uh, Tarone, can you just walk us through the three you made? It seems like sometimes you're a little bit better as a shooter off the catch, but that was one where you know you caught it, you had, you had to uh, make a basketball play. And, and then you know you fired from, from a stance. Was that a comfortable shot for you? And can you just walk us through play in general? Um, when the play was originally um, focused on Kendall, uh, he was supposed mm -hmm. to come off the down screen uh, for the three at the top, but they overplayed it. So um, Ronnie ended up passing the ball to me, and um, I really just stepped into the shot. Uh, he kind of bagged back, which I don't know why, because they were down three. I mean, we were down three, and uh, and I felt like it, it felt really fluent. Uh, AJ, what did Coach say to you to try to take your mind off the free throw? <laughs> you tell like a knock knock joke or something or what? No, he told me, uh, he asked me what I get on my pizza for post game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What are you getting? Uh, I got the new lovers with jalapenos and pineapples. <laughs> <laughs> AJ, I think that's the first time that you and Jay have technically been in the game together. Um, is that? I assume that's a play that you guys have practiced for exactly that Actually, moment. Actually, we just drew it up today. Yeah. <laughs> you just drew it up in the, yeah, in the timeout? Yeah, we used walk it today, through. too. Yeah, we oh, in the walkthrough. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> how much confidence did you have as that's all setting up then the first time you've ever done it? Uh, earlier today, actually, Jay didn't throw it to me. Uh, Basil threw it to me. I was me. I was Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, we was arguing back and forth. But, <laughs> no, uh, I just wanted to at least get a tip in. I got him myself to go up. Then he found out. I was just like, all right, I got to knock this down, which kind of scared me because I was never in that predicament. Basil, what was different for you tonight in terms of just that run at the end of the first half and just you know being in the right place at the right time, making hustle plays? Um, like they always tell me, just kind of work on the baseline, and that's what I'm mostly good at. And I kind of just look at Tyrone and Ronnie and Bryson when they're uh, driving to the basket to see if my defender would go to commit to them. Most of the time they do, and sometimes they don't. And I know i got to get in a rebounding position. So I just had to just keep hustling. And I mostly get the hustle points and just make the hustle plays. And that's what I had to keep doing for 40 minutes, and I did.